Hi guys, welcome back to Wildebeard Reviews. Tonight we're going to be talking about Power Rangers The Road to Ranger Slayer, one of this year's free comic book day offerings. Hopefully you had a chance to pick up one of these at your local comic shop. This one actually came out last week. My comic shop only lets you take one per purchase, so last week I picked up the X-Men one, but they still had some Power Ranger ones left over for me to pick one up this week. So this is a basically a history of the Ranger Slayer. Um, goes deep into her origin from the world of Draken and then has a page or two leading us into a book that came out this week which is a Ranger or Power Rangers Ranger Slayer cool little uh, one shot featuring the Ranger Slayer here I have not read this yet because I wanted to read the road to the Ranger Slayer uh, first I'll have a review for this up over in the next uh, couple days or so so um, a Ranger Slayer really cool character I love the idea of this if you don't know who she is um, we'll talk about her obviously we're gonna go through her origin story but uh, the ten cent origin is that she is Kimberly Hart, the Pink Ranger from an alternate universe, the same universe where Draken came from, and she has kind of a combined power set of both the Pink and the Black Rangers, and as you will see in the comic, she gets um, basically um, brainwashed to do Lord Draken's bidding. So let's go ahead and dive into this comic because it's really, really cool. So um, I've been reading the Power Rangers series for a while now, pretty much since um, Shattered Grid. However, before that, I've only read the first two volumes of the series so between issues like 11 and 24 I think I have a knowledge gap in there I kind of know about Lord Draken and every and the universe that he comes from um, but I, there's some of the details are a little squishy in my brain so um, hopefully I don't misspeak or anything um, uh, um, in this review and if there's any details that I'm missing did you guys know feel free to drop those down in the comments for me so we're gonna read this first page right here it's basically a quick origin um, history of the world itself before we get into um, the uh, Ranger Slayer specific stuff. It says, In a universe where Tommy Oliver never left Rita Repulsa's side, the Power Rangers have fallen. The, uh, and Tommy, now, nor now known as Lord Dragon, rules supreme, having stolen the power, the power coins from every Ranger who has tried to stop him. The surviving rangers have formed a rebellion known as the Coinless, continuing the fight against Lord Draken's fascist rule. After a failed attempt at conquering the universe, where Tommy Oliver um, uh, along fights alongside the Power Rangers as the Green Ranger, Lord Draken has decided to enact his revenge. There may no longer be Power Rangers to stand against the forces of evil, but that does not mean there is no hope. So I'm getting from that intro that this um, this um, storyline takes place between when we first meet Lord Dragon in the regular Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Boom series, uh, but before Shattered Grid, which is where I started buying uh, single issues over um, at the trade paperbacks. All right, so here we go. We are one year later, and we've got some people running around um, Angel Grove after it's been torn up. It's post-apocalyptic. I love stories like this where we take a known universe and just rub a bunch of dirt on it, mess it up, and just kind of turn everything on its side, especially for characters like Bulk. That's right. That is the character Bulk. He's running around um, as part of the Rebellion. You can see here he's running around with um, another character there, and they're on the run from a group of um, troopers here that they jokingly call Trunks because they are all in Black Ranger armor there, which is really cool. I love kind of those motifs and ways they've worked in all this Power Ranger stuff into this uh, kind of post-apocalyptic world here. But um, it's not good for the Trunks because they get nailed with arrows from this universe's Kimberly Hart. Look at that character design. It is so, so badass. You can see the little pops of pink there. Got the bow going on there in the back with the pink fletchets on it. Love the hairstyle. Love that she's actually like using a real bow because we never really got to see them use their weapons too much in the series. It was always here and there in the in the TV series. It was always here and there, but I always felt that they could use those a little bit more, especially their blade blasters, but that's a whole nother uh, video right there. So, 
uh, Kimberly Hart saves Bulk and the other character there, and they um, get away. And then we go here to two weeks later, where Kimberly and Bulk are spying on the city from a vantage point. They're looking at um, a dragon here, um, and then they're looking at some tusks, or not tusks, some trunks, doing um, uh, some patrolling there. And then they see over here, uh, there's two titties doing contraband, which are pink rangers, and they, or I'm sorry, yellow rangers, and uh, Bulk's says uh, i'm not going to put that in the report it gets uh trini gets upset which is i enjoy that and we see here um that classic um thing atop the palace on the moon mixed with the uh, the um the dragon coin right there they're talking about zone five is secure zone one whatever and then they say well we never ask about zone four what happened to that one and they say uh dragon blew it up and then right here it looks like um i think that's the high school um and it's got like a moat around it because apparently i guess the the school is like a sacred um place to them so here we've got Bulk and Kimberly just kind of reminiscing about high school. I love this line from Bulk. He says, God, I love her, loved whatever those chicken nugget things were. Uh, terrorizing freshmen, sleeping through detention. Um, and then we actually find out that Bulk um, actually liked history class. He says, um, you kidding me? I love that stuff. The Crimean War, uh, Bart Mitchell, it was all the best. So hey, maybe Bulk was really a little bit of, of a nerd there. Really, really cool. Um, and so they, um, he says, um, uh, crazy, you were pretending, or, uh, Kimberly says, crazy, you were pretending to be a history buff, uh, you're a history buff pretending to be a big dumb bully, and he says, you are a spoiled valley girl, bro, who's actually a power ranger, and he says, I, I, I want to thank you for all the times that you probably saved the world, and no one knew about it, which I'm guessing was, was a bunch, and I just, I love seeing these characters kind of turned on their head a little bit, again, I know I've said that a few times, but, um, I always really, really love it. So we go here three months later, um, Kimberly and Bulk are attacking some uh, some trunks there, and then they find um, these kind of wounded people there, and one of them is Matthew. Now, Matthew is a character that I am not familiar with. He was featured in the most recent issue of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which was issue 51. Um, him and Kimberly kind of shared a moment, and some uh, commenters filled me in that they kind of sort of had a relationship in Go-Go Power Rangers, which was a companion companion series to Mighty Morphing. Uh, I did not read that one, so um, thank you to my commenters for filling me in on that one. It also seems like we are not done with the character of Matthew in that regular series for as many issues as we have left. Um, so they have um, a good moment here kind of talking about each other or talking to each other doing some remembering but then as they're about to be under attack she turns back and he has passed away and she is very um clearly upset and bulk later on is talking to her and she says uh he's taken uh um, what, what, he says, what are you going, what are you going to go do? And she says, he's taken Jason and Billy and, and now Matt, I'm not going to let him take anyone else. I'm going to go kill Lord Draken. And that's what she sets out to do. Goes to the palace, takes out some, uh, T-Rex or some Red Ranger, um, guards there, I guess, palace guards if you want. And, um, Draken is saying, amazing. You get this far through all of my defenses, all my Rangers. It's quite impressive. She says, I don't know who these guys are but they aren't rangers and she shoots an arrow at him and he just catches that sitting there on his throne a smug bastard um and she calls him tommy and he says no one's called me that in a while it's interesting you and i have been fighting uh, th uh this fight for a long time back and forth over and over again yet we've never killed one another why do you think that is what's stopping us and she says a clear line of sight which is a fantastic line and he says no i think we're just too much alike we're both fighters survivors uh maybe in another life even more than that join me and let's finish this uh, uh once and for all what do you say and she says uh, i lost my chance to save you a long time ago and then it happens she uh knocks up three arrows to a lot to fire at him but he unleashes some green ranger power on her and says uh, i had hoped he'd be more open-minded thankfully before she died rita taught me how to deal with that you're just too perfect for your own good kim i mean look at you this world's made you stronger than you ever were before imagine how deadly you'll be now and she stands up and says 
I am yours to command, my lord. You can see that green in her eyes, and he says, you'll be the most powerful weapon in my arsenal, Kimberly, my ranger slayer. And there you go. There's our origin of the ranger slayer. So now that she is effectively on the bad side, she leaves and goes back to the rest of the coinless, to the resistance. You see her walking in there um, as Bulk is talking about her and everything, and she says, you know, Bulky, there are worse things than death. And they're like, oh, oh God, he came back, him, he came back. And then he's like, what's up with the different bow that you have? And I never noticed this, or I guess I haven't really noticed it before, but her bow is now kind of... A it looks like two of the dragon swords kind of um, put together, or the dragon dagger put together to make a bow, which is really, really cool design. And he's like, what's up with that? And then that's when he, or when she kind of unleashes on him, cuts his gun up, and uh, uh, Trini there gets the drop on her, but she is 100% on, on the evil side here. Cool to see Trini here in this um, uh, uh, other world. We saw that, or read that Jason and Billy are done. I think uh, Zach and Aisha are still running around. I think they get name checked um, here in a minute. Kimberly, uh, though, does come with a um, with a bargain. She says, uh, "You've got we've got the place surrounded. If anyone tries to leave, they'll be changing their name from the coinless to the headless. On the other hand, I'm willing to let everyone go free right now if Trini just surrenders." And uh, Bulk says, "No way, that's not happening." And basically. Um, <laughs> Trini kicks Bulk in the face and says, get out of here, um, we're, I've got this, and essentially what is happening is Trini is just um, um, stalling, sorry, <laughs> I stall on the word stall, how about that, there you go, um, so everyone can get away, they have a quick little um, fight here where um, Trini actually gets the upper hand on her, smacks her right in the face there, really cool stuff, um, and so they get away, but Trini knows that, um, that or, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Kimberly knows that they all got away, and she says that we're going to hunt them all down, and I'm going to need my coin back. And we see um, uh, kind of one of the uh, like the regular army there dressed up as uh, the Pink Ranger. Really cool. It's almost like they're like the sniper squad or, or something there. And then we get to our, our last page here, which is our lead-in to the regular um, Ranger Slayer issue that we'll talk about here in another couple days on the channel. And it's she says here, home. Home is where the heart is, spelled as if it were her last name. Uh, that's what it, it said on our welcome mat since I was seven. My mom thought it was funny. No one else did. A moment ago, I stepped through the master arch and got sent free-falling through time and space. You'd think I'd be used to, be, used to that by now, but it's not why my stomach feels upside down I don't want to be here this place is nothing but memories and bad mistakes and then she hears some gunshots and that's where it tells us we'll pick up in Ranger Slayer number one so um, she, yeah, she got sent back to her own home universe in I believe it was issue um, of uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 50 where she walked through the gate to get sent back to there so kind of catching us up to the continuity of that main Mighty Morphin Power Rangers title going on right right now so guys really cool to see the origin of the ranger slayer how she came to be and diving more into that kind of alternate world here in power rangers one of the coolest things that they've been able to do um at kind of elevating the material expanding material doing stuff that they could never get away with in the show it's just because of how they were made and what the audience they're aimed for and everything like that so that's one of the main reasons i love these power ranger comics coming from boom studios so guys what did you think of the origin of Kimberly Hart as the Ranger Slayer from this alternate universe? Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. If it's your first time here at the channel and you like what we do here, like what we're all about, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. It would mean a lot. Um, other than that, down in the description I have uh, my Patreon page as well as an Ask Me Anything tip page. If you want to head over there, leave a question or a topic, I'll do a video on that question or topic. Also, I have a P.O. Box email address, all my social medias and stuff down there as well. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.